So after we do our stretching and our warm up, a lot of times we go into a conditioning session and kind of section before we get practicing. Um, our conditioning is really focused on the areas of the body that need the most work, but also on sport specific exercises for diving. So we try and focus on the core and the movement patterns that we're going to do in the air while we're doing our diving training. So I'm going to give you a couple examples here of a conditioning routine. Feel free to, when you do it, to expand, add, make some, be creative about how you put things together, but just make sure you try not to do the same exercises moving the same body part over and over again, but you kind of break it up into different sections. So here's a couple of examples of uh, conditioning routines. We're gonna start with our tuck kick look reaches. So small tuck, proper position, good form, nice little tuck. We'll go to our kick and hold the hollow, legs, hands on the thighs, nice straight position, then look back, then reach back and hold and back up into your tuck. Okay, and relax for just a second. So we're gonna do a set of 10 here, and we're gonna do good position, nice quality exercise. So small in the tuck position, holding that hollow shape, tight stomach, look back. That's really when you look back where you see a lot of people lose their shape and actually arch their back, but you wanna be nice and flat, and then reach back and hands over the water, grabbed hands, work in the entry in the lineup. So again, we're combining a conditioning move with our diving specific training. So, one set of 10, ready? Small tuck, kick, look, reach. Good, and go ahead and do them on your own. So as they're going here on their own, doing their set of 10, big thing is, is that as the coach, you wanna be able to walk through and show, make sure that you're adjusting, making sure they're doing it correctly, making any small movements. So Kira over here probably needs to stay a little more hollow as she reach back and stay flat. Look back and try to keep that lower back flat on the ground there. So this movement pattern is actually the same as what's going to be used on the back dive tuck, reverse dive tuck, back one and a half tuck for our kick look reach and our out but it's combined with it takes that core strength and the ability to change positions quickly in the air and adjust. So next we're gonna do is we're gonna establish into that push-up position. We're gonna actually hands out here, making that straight line, but a nice flat back and a hollow plank. It's pretty typical along across a lot of sports, but it's good for us because it's given us that postural stabilization, working the lower core, upper core, and also working on our shoulders and trying to strengthen in there. So we're gonna get to a push-up position Hands about shoulder width apart and then your feet back. And then go ahead and extend and hold it. I'm gonna drop those hips down and right in there. Now, as athletes get stronger and better, we want them in that straight line and maybe go for a little bit longer. But, you know, tend to do sick, you know, increments of about 30 seconds. Keep that back nice and flat and tight stomach here. But again, you wanna adjust, make sure that they're in the right position. Bethany, drop your hips just a little bit. Good, nice straight line. I'm gonna hold it for about five more seconds here. And obviously the big thing is, is that don't go so long that you start having people get fatigued and then they start and they lose shape and they go to bad form. Proper form for shorter time and a better, will be a better experience and relax.